I am super excited. I'm here at the hangar. I'm going to pick up Lola. We're going to the avionics shop and we're upgrading that panel. I can't wait. I'm going to take you through the panel. Let's have a look. This Cessna was made in 1980. It's a T210 November model. And we have the old legacy Aspen, uh, one of the first glass drop-ins that was ever created. Uh, it was a real simple avionics install in that the previous owners simply took out the two round dials there and dropped in the Aspen. And that's what, what made Aspen really you know, competitive early on. Nobody else was doing that. Nobody else had a drop-in glass into the, the steam gauge slots. So that's what I have, um, you know, and of course some of the um, old steam gauges. Then I have an old Garmin 430, and I have that old radio, and I've had issues. That's actually a replacement for now, because the other one died. At top, I have a PS Engineering audio panel, and man, I love that thing. So that'll be staying. Um, I might move the uh, Garmin 430 to my radio too. And then I've got the uh, Garmin 345 ADS-B uh, transponder. <laughs> this is what I really love, the autopilot is the Navomatic 400B and it doesn't hold altitude anymore it's uh, in really bad shape I'm because I only fly cross country I'm super excited to be getting the new autopilot and we'll talk about that in flight over here I have a radar yes out the window you see the radar pod so I have actual weather radar and a, a few more round dials probably they got moved from the center console I mean, when they did this, this was long before I ever owned the plane. When I bought the plane, pretty much everything you see here, with the exception of the transponder, was already there. It had an old transponder uh, with the ADS-B mandate. I bought it right before that, so I had to put in a new ADS-B. Other than that, there really hasn't been any changes, so I am super excited. This panel is absolutely falling apart, so I've got a new panel coming as well. So that's the old. We're going to Ezel Aviation for our avionics upgrade. Start clear. Airspeed's alive. Off power. Little, little over boost. Pull back. We go for 70. Okay, so we're cruising here at 4,500, keeping an eye out for traffic. And I haven't done, I've had this plane now today. about seven years. During that time, the only upgrades that I've done, ADS-B requirement, replace it with the 345. And the other one I've done, and man, I'm so grateful for it, is the PS Engineering audio panel. The, the screen, I, I get two Bluetooths, which is handy because I can do both my phone and the iPad and get the four flight warnings, audible warnings. I really like this PS Engineering. That will stay. What am I going to do? So I researched at AirVenture last year, did a video on that. I like the one-stop shop feel of the big guy. Um, I don't like that it's a big corporation, and it was actually kind of hard to talk to anybody. I was surprised there not that many pilots uh, that were there. Whereas when you go to the, the smaller guys, like let's take Aspen. Aspen to me is just as good. It's got the new Promax system, which is the three screens. And what's really cool is I, I, I went to Air Venture. I talked to the president of Aspen, you know, and he flies. So it, it's really cool you know, that the, the people there, you can talk to them. They're pilots for the most part. Some aren't, some are. But uh, I didn't feel that at Garmin. I researched, I really liked the Aspen, I really liked the S-Tech 3100, and then went and talked to them, and they were great to work with. Really looking forward to this partnership with Aspen and with Genesis, now Moog. I have decided on the Aspen Pro Max, so I'm going to get a three screen deal, and we'll put that right here, so I'll have a, a, a PFD, I'll have an MFD, it gives me the new angle of attack, I'm really excited about that, and the good thing about uh, Aspen's angle of attack is it actually gives you 
uh, two angles of attack, uh, dirty and clean, because some airplanes have significantly different angle of attacks depending on if they got flaps and gear out. Very excited about that. Probably, you know, I'm having to adjust constantly because my old autopilot will not hold altitude. And so I've got it set to GPS so the it's getting its information from the 430. But I'm really looking forward to the Genesis S-Tech 3100 digital autopilot. And it'll have altitude pre-select, which I really like. It'll fly to that altitude. Uh, I've never zero, zero, had that zero, in zero, this zero, plane. Zero, I fly a lot of single pilot long cross countries. A lot of times in IMC, zero, 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 the autopilot is a really good uh, cockpit resource. Uh, that's probably what I'm most excited about is getting that Genesis Aztec 3100. For NAV, GPS NAVCOM, I'm going to get something, but I'm going to label it the Brynon 3000 in tribute to my friend Brian, who has the Just Plain Silly channel. He did an avionics video a couple years back where he had the Brynon line, so um, I'm going to label it Brynon. And uh, I did genuinely try to look at all of Garmin, Aspen, Dynon even. I talked to Dynon. Dynon would have been great. The problem with, with Dynon is that they didn't have an autopilot that was STC for the 210. And that's like the most important thing I need on all my long cross countries. I talked to them all. I really liked Aspen. I really liked Genesis. And then I, I approached them and that's how we worked the deal. I believe that Aspen... Genesis, they're just as good as the big, the 800-pound gorilla. But I, I think it's so important that we have competition in, in the avionics. It just keeps everybody honest. So for me, I am a David versus Goliath person. I really like the companies that are smaller and have more innovation than the big corporate giants that maybe they don't even fly. I did gravitate towards the Aspens and the Genesis companies because, I mean, I go talk to the president. I mean, they're pilots. You know, competition is so important in, in everything, but in aviation. Avionics, without competition, you're going to see prices soar. You're going to see innovation not happen. With competition, innovation comes. Prices stay down. So I do want to support the Davids in their fight against the Goliath. So I am excited to partner with Aspen and with Genesis uh, Moog uh, with the S-Tech 3100. Super excited. Great products. So I'll be able to take you on my journey as I partner with them so you can see what they're all about. Now, the shop that I'm going to go to is Ezel Aviation at Breckenridge, Texas, in the middle of nowhere. That is home to some of the coolest warbirds you'll ever see. Uh, Ezel just won some really big awards at AA Air Venture, the Golden Wrench, and other Lindy Awards uh, for some of their work. Uh, they just restored a P-38 Mondina III. Beautiful, beautiful 32, restoration. 92, and they also did a Hellcat that's just amazing. And uh, I do a TV show for Aeroverse, Aeroverse.com, on their rebuilding efforts. So I'm going out to Ezel because they're just amazing. And it was a no-brainer to... I had to beg and plead uh, Chad to take me in but at Ezel. But uh, I'm really, really looking forward to it. By the way, this is my buddy check that missionary bush pilot Ryan uh, sells on his pipe. I love this thing. Flaps 10%, gear down flaps, check. Hey, gas is where I want it, undercarriage. Cleveland traffic, uh, 6,000, left down with 3-3. Picture. Hey, gun check, complete, seatbelt. Breckenridge traffic, turn final 3-5, Breckenridge. Approaching runway 0422.
right, here we are at Ezel, and the last time I'll use this panel, hopefully. One of the important pieces of the avionics panel will actually be my engine instrument. Now, Aspen has announced that they will be providing the engine instrument in the future. I have a JPI 830 currently installed. Recently had to have, recently, two years ago, my analog fuel gauges were not reading zero at zero, which you have to have. So we ended up getting new fuel sending units and new gauges, analog. And uh, you could not use the JPI 830 because it didn't, it, it just computed the fuel. It didn't actually read it. The 930 does read it. And so it counts as a fuel gauge. So I'm gonna be putting in, upgrading my 830 to a 930. Um, if Aspen already had their engine monitor out, I might've gone that route, but for now, We'll have the uh, JPI 930, and it'll be interesting to see Aspen's engine monitor in the future. Everything was boxed up from the from the factory, and first thing we do is we go through and verify the packing list against everything we've got, uh, verify serial numbers, and tag everything for the aircraft it goes to so there's no chance it gets confused with something else. Uh, we do that with the Aspen system and with the autopilot. We verify all of their inventory to keep everything together on one set of shelves. So everything that comes out of the airplane is going to go on some lower shelves. Everything going into the airplane is up on the upper shelves so we can keep track of it and keep it organized. I am so excited to finally get this avionics upgrade. I can't wait to get that Aspen Pro Max system, the Genesis S Tech 3100 from Moog. And I'm just so appreciative of Dave and his team at Ezel Aviation for installing it. Can't wait. Also, I'd like to thank our sponsors like Flying Eyes. Check this out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look at this. These are hugely popular, they got readers. I don't think you're ready for readers. Oh, no, I need readers. But so many and people for everything are I ready for readers. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> so at flyingeyesoptics.com, you can actually get readers, you can get sunglasses, you can get ophthalmics for your prescription. And when you finish shopping, use our discount code, taking off all caps, one word, it'll get you 10% off of what you're ordering. So check it out. We love our flying eyes. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you next time because we are going to document this whole process of getting the avionics installed. And then we'll take you on some trips once we get it in there. Take care. Bye.